Hello everyone, this is my um, tutorial for the 4x4 OLL Plus method which I invented by myself during the past few months. Uh, some of you could remember my tutorial about skipping OLL uh, while doing the Lucas Parity ALK but this ALK I presented one year ago I think um, did only work with two unoriented corners but only two. Now I found ALKs for every corner only OLL in um, combination with a single edge flip or a parity in the front. And after a lot of, pe a lot of people asked me um, to do this, here's my tutorial for the ARC set. Um, this should be 27 ARCs in total. And before I start uh, presenting these ARCs, just a short explanation of the general technique. So um, um, in the beginning, the uh, parity arc I will use is the Lucas parity arc which is this one so I'll put the uh, arc in the description for those who don't know it um, and the smart thing about this arc is that it doesn't only do a difference in the orientation but also in the permutation of the last layer so if you execute it uh, it doesn't F perm it swaps these two edges and these two corners and are also it's uh, it disorients these two corners and of course this edge which is your parity edge um, and because of that you can do a big effect on the OLL with simple setups before um, or after the um, parity arc so um, the first case for example would probably uh, be this one where we have um, Imagine this edge wouldn't be swapped, then you had a headlights case. Um, but now this edge is swapped, so, so you have uh, the headlights case in the front, the flipped edge here, and this is the pure Lucas Parity R case, where you don't do any setup or, um, or do something uh, else than the uh, pure um, Parity arc, which is this one again. So this would be the first case, uh, hope you understand the technique um, and now uh, the 26 setup uh, cases will follow. So this is uh, one of the most important cases I think. Um, in this case uh, some people do th their normal um, parity arc just uh, with uh, these M moves only, but that is not fast enough, I think. So what I do in this case is uh, I do it with a setup, with a very simple setup, which is R U to R prime U prime, then the parity arc, and a inverse sledgehammer. Um, back to the he uh, headlights cases. This should be the next, where you have the unoriented uh, edge in the front and headlights in the left. In this case, I do something like um, U2, so edges in the back. And then I do M prime, uh, M, sorry, M. Then the parity arc. And that does fix the whole OLL. But what I tend to do sometimes is when I come out uh, in, this, um, in this angle, I tend to do something like um, M prime, so sorry, this should be M prime, and then do the Lucas parity arc from the back. That does also work very eff efficient. Um, the last two headlights cases. Um, let's start with this one, um, where are um, the headlights in the right, and the unoriented edge in the front. In this case, I do M U M prime. Parity, and then again, um, you have to th to um, understand that um, with the parity arc, which does an F perm and swaps these two edges, um, the cross edge you brought up to the last layer um, started here and come out comes out here. So you ha don't have to do the inverse, but the uh, setup again. So the setup wa uh, was M prime U M. M U M prime, so M U M prime, and now you have to do again M U M prime, as well as in the mirror case, which is this one where the headlights are in the left, and the swapped edge in the front. 
you do m prime u prime m parity and again m prime u prime m. So let's start with the uh, anti bow tie cases, um, which uh, the first one is this one, uh, flipped edges in the front, and the corners are here and here. What I do in this case is I start with a sexy move, so r u r prime u prime, and then an r, then I do the parity arc, and then I inverse, then do the, do the inverse uh, setup, r and then an inverse sexy. Next case is this one where we have a bar in the front and uh, a single piece here in the back. Um, so the anti bow tie is in the right. And what I do in this case is um, I do something like um, L2, B2, L2, then the parity arc, and then L2, B2, L2. But um, in this case, I also tend to do something different. So if you come out, uh, come out like this, and also if you don't come out like this, I, I think this is faster. If you do it from the back and do R2, F2, R2, and then do the parity arc from the back, R2, F2, R2, to finish. Next case is the mirror of the last. I, uh, you have a bar in the front and a single corner here. Um, and what I do in this case is R2, B2, R2, parity. And then again R2, B2, R2. So this is one of the slowest uh, cases where you have a single edge flip and the uh, corners are in the back here and here. And what I do in this case, I didn't find any uh, fast setup or trick or something like this. Um, so what I do in this case is just I do um, from this angle the parity arc. And then this, all, uh, it's not too slow, I think. So now what we are upon to do the um, bow tie cases. Let's start with this one where you have a bar in the front uh, at the left side and uh, a single corner here. So what I do in this case is I do uh, it from this angle or do U like one and um, do R prime U prime R. So this is a bar parity and then the inverse R prime U R. And again the inverse where you have a bar in the uh, front at the right and a um, single corner here, there you do U prime uh, as a setup, then um, just to do it from the right angle, then L U L prime parity and L U prime L prime. So now a more easy case, um, edges in the front and the corners are here and here. So what I do in this case, I didn't find a, um, a faster setup uh, that's not a slow case, but there's nothing better to do than simply doing the parity arc. And then you come out with a lefty soon, which I do like this. As well as this case, the mirror case, where you have um, the corners here and here. I also do parity arc. and you come out with the right soon. So now the soon cases. Um, let's start with with, the, uh, with this one, um, where we have a bar in the front. Corners are here and here and here. And what I do in this case is simply sledgehammer, parity, and then insert this pair with R, U prime, R prime. Next one is this, where you have no bar at all. Um, pieces are here, here, and here. And what I do in this case, this is one of the uh, longer and um, more bad cases. Um, I do a lefty sledgehammer, um, then do the parity arc, and then I cancel in a lefty superman or a which solve the, uh, solves the OLL. 
Next case is a very simple one. Um, in this case, you have a bar in front, and uh, corners are here and here. And what I do in this case is I just do uh, as a setup L prime U prime L parity, and then I do a uh, left inverse sledgehammer. So next case is this one where we have a bar in the front again and the corner pieces are here and here. And what I do, I do in this case is um, a somehow long setup move, but it's very fast to execute. So it's R U to R prime U prime and then a sexy R U R prime U prime, then parity and an inverse sledgehammer to finish. Now we're going to the um, left zoom cases, uh, left back zoom cases, so like this. So if you look from this angle, it's a zoom case. Um, in this case, you have a bar in the front at the right this time. Corners are here and here. And what I do in this case is I uh, just do a left um, sledgehammer, then the parity arc and insert the pair with L prime UL. So then the mirror of the long soon case where you have uh, completely no bar at all. Corners are here, here and here. And what I do in this case is sledgehammer from the right, parity. And then I cancel in a right superman or a, like this. Next case is an easy one. Um, in this case, you have a bar at the right. Corners are here and here. And what I do is R U R prime. So bring the pair in the uh, in the last layer. Then do the parity and inverse sledgehammer. So next case is a, is a special one because that is the only case uh, with a cube rotation in it. Um, I don't execute this case from this angle, but from this, so um, the parity edge is this time in the uh, left, at the left side, and what I do is R prime U2, R U prime, parity, then a Y, and R U2, R prime. So next cases are the double headlights, which uh, in which the headlights are in, at the right end and the left, uh, at the left, so on, by, on, on both sides. Um, there are just two cases, not four, because um, is, there's just the case where they are at the left and the right, and the back and the front. So this is uh, the first case, where uh, the, cor the white corner pieces are in the right and the left. And what I do in this case is R U R prime U. R U prime R prime parity and inverse sledgehammer. Next one is um, one of the longest, but it's also very fast, never, nevertheless, um, because it's very easy and good to execute. Um, it's the case where you have a bar in the front and headlights are in the back, and in this case, you do R U to R prime U prime, then a double sexy move, so R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime. So th these are only R and U moves, so it's very fast to execute and to finger trick. Um, then I do the parity arc, and again an inverse sledgehammer. Now the last four cases, which is uh, the Superman corner only OLL which is uh, this one where you have two corners uh, at the front uh, and the back and two at the left. In this case, these two are in the front. Um, the other two corners are here and here. What I do in this case is uh, a special ALK, alk which is uh, R prime U, R prime U prime, then parity. And then I do U, R, U. R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U2, and then back insert. It's very long, um, 
but it's uh, still better than doing the uh, Parity Alk once and then um, the corner over there. So this is the next one where you have the uh, corners uh, right and left in the front and the, the other headlights in the back. And in this case uh, it's just the um, inverse of the second double headlights case. Um, so in this case I do um, sledgehammer, then the parity arc, and then a uh, two times inverse sexy move, and then U R U to R prime. So the last two are mirror cases uh, of each other, which uh, in which you simply do um, the parity arc. And then you come up with a soon, so um, there's no setup. You have a bar in the front, and all the other um, edges, uh, the corners are disoriented. In this case, you do parity. And then you come up with a soon, which I do from the back. Like this. And last case is the mirror case uh, of the last one, where you have a bar in the front. Headlights are left, single edge, uh, single corner piece in the back, and in this case you do simply parity, and you will also come up with a soon, which I probably would execute like this. So um, that was it. that were all all the arcs I invented by myself, and um, in the end I just want to say. Um, the possibilities don't stop um, when more than one parity, uh, more than um, the corners are unoriented. For uh, example, there's this case. Um, th in this case, are three um, edges unoriented, and I use this arc for the case where um, the headlights are in the front. And in this case, I simply do something like uh, R prime F prime R U prime parity and then redo this. So there are um, unending possi possibilities and um, hope this tutorial uh, helped you to um, to be to maybe to be more creative than me <laughs> or um, to invent own arcs for special cases in all parity. Um, so hope you enjoyed and see you.